Hi everyone, today's class is going to be all about building strength, specifically in our lower legs. You'll need no props for class, so just sit up tall and we'll get started. My name is Lisa and I'll be guiding you through practice today. Sitting and seated, resting our hands on our knees. Let's make sure that our spine is tall and the back of our head lines up with the bottom of our spine. Reaching up through the crown of the head, feeling a straight line of energy from our sacrum to our forehead. Rolling our shoulder blades back and down. And softening the face. Settling into our space as we deepen our breath. This is our opportunity to clear our mind and arrive here with gratitude that we've set aside time for ourselves to be at home in our body. Taking a deep breath in to feel our belly rise and exhale to empty. Taking two more breaths here together. And we'll be starting out class going through poses in half staff. So let's turn and face the short edge of our mat. Right leg straight. And left leg in half butterfly with your hips facing the long edge of your mat. Let's place our right palm on the inside of the right leg and tuck our left hand either in beside our right hip or grabbing our clothing. Making sure our chest is open. So maybe bringing your left shoulder back and down. And then relaxing into a side bend towards the right foot. Allowing your head and your neck to feel heavy. And sending your breath into your tight spots. And if you have more than one, then focus just on the place where you're drawn to today. Allowing our breath to swirl into our spot and penetrate into our tissues. And we'll be taking one more breath here. And we'll be coming into a forward fold. So squaring off our hips to face the short edge of our mat and keeping the left leg in half butterfly. Hands come on either side of the right leg and inhale to lengthen out the spine and exhale to fold towards your foot. The right one. <laughs> Maybe giving a slight bend to our right knee for feeling tight. And sending breath either into your lower back or into your right hamstring. Taking one more breath here. And switching sides. Left leg straight. And we'll bring our right leg into half butterfly, bringing our hips to face the long edge of our mat. And placing the left hand on the inside of the left leg, palm to the ground. And bringing our right hand in behind us, either grabbing for our hip or holding onto our clothing. Inhaling to lengthen and exhale to fold over towards our left foot. Making sure our right chest is open. Head and neck heavy. And relaxing your forehead. 
and allowing your body to release another layer. Now pick your spot and send your breath there. Maybe you need to readjust your chin or open up the front of your chest more. I'm taking two more breaths here. And we're coming into a forward fold, readjusting the hips to face the short edge of the mat. Right leg stays in half butterfly. Hands on either side of the left leg. Inhaling to lengthen your spine and exhale to fold towards the left foot. Tight hamstrings may need that slight bend in the left knee. And again, let's deepen our breath. Taking one more breath and release, coming onto our back for elbow to knee. Setting up the uh, knees under the ankles, lengthening out the neck, and bringing our hands in behind our head for support, creating a basket for our head and our neck, bringing our legs into chair. Inhale, curl, head and shoulders up. Hold the breath, curl the tailbone up. Exhale, twisting both elbows towards the left thigh, straightening the right leg, reaching out through the right foot, and pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Hold the breath, curl the tailbone up. Exhale, twisting both elbows towards the right thigh, straighten the left leg. Reaching through the foot, pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl head and shoulders up. Hold the breath, curl the tailbone. Exhale, twisting both elbows towards the left thigh. Straighten the right leg. Pull the belly down, reaching out through that foot. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl the tailbone up, shoulders off the ground. Hold the breath. Exhale, twisting both elbows towards the right thigh. Straighten the left leg. Pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl head and shoulders up. Hold the breath. Curl the tailbone. Exhale, twisting both elbows towards the right leg and pull that belly down, straightening out that right leg. Inhale, coming back to center. Hold the breath. Exhale, twisting both elbows towards the right leg. Straighten the left leg out. Pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl the tailbone up, 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 up. Exhale, twisting towards the left leg. Straightening out the right. Curl the tailbone up. Pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, twisting towards the right leg. Straighten out the left. And pull your belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl the tailbone up. Exhale, twisting towards the left thigh. Straightening out the right leg. Pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl the tailbone, exhale, twisting towards the right thigh, straightening out the left leg. Pull the belly down. Inhale, coming back to center. Curl the tailbone up one last time and release. Feet and head towards the mat. Now take one breath to feel what we've alivened in our core. And now we're setting up for bridge. Knees above the ankles and just reaching for those ankles to make sure they're at the right distance. Feet should be hip distance, palms facing towards the ceiling. Inhaling to spread your ribcage, 
and exhale to bring the hips towards the ceiling. Now on each inhale, breathing into the front of our chest. And each exhale, maybe bringing our hips a little closer to the ceiling and giving our tailbone a tuck towards our thighs. Making sure not to juggle our head or our neck. Finding stillness in our bridge. Feeling strong through our legs. Taking one more breath. And before you come out of bridge, bring your palms towards the ground. And on each exhale, bringing the top, mid, and lower spine to the mat. Rolling on to your right side and setting up for dolphin. Hands underneath the shoulders and knees underneath your hips. Lowering the forearms down to the mat. And your forearms should be shoulder width distance, so grabbing our biceps and placing our palms back down towards the mat. Letting our head hang heavy between our arms, inhaling to send our breath into the back of our chest and exhale, bringing our hips towards the ceiling. Finding the same position that we do in our downward dog, but having our palms on the mat. Your head should be off the mat and wrap those shoulder blades Coming into one-legged dolphin, bring your right foot a little closer to the center of your mat and bringing the left leg up towards the ceiling. A long straight leg reaching out, activating your toes and switching sides bringing the left foot in beside the right and lifting that right foot off the ground, bringing it up towards the ceiling, active toes, and sending breath into the back of your chest, reaching up through those arms and keeping a strong wrap in your shoulder blades. Okay, and inhale, bringing the foot down. Staying up in our dolphin. One more breath and release knees towards the ground and bringing the backs of our palms towards the ground coming into embryo resting over our legs and on your next inhale coming up and we'll meet in downward dog taking one breath to walk out your dog and then we'll be coming into warrior one with the left foot forward. Feet should be on separate tracks. Hips facing the short edge of your mat. And if warrior one is not for you today, then come into a high lunge. Coming up on the balls of your foot. Strong bend in that front leg and let's bring the arms up towards the ceiling, wrapping the shoulder blades and keeping our spine long, tucking our tailbone down towards the mat. Feeling strength in our lower body. Taking one more breath here. and release lowering the back knee down we'll be coming into arrow lunge back leg down and we're going to be placing the top of our right foot towards the mat and we want to make sure the top of our foot is flat because we're going to be pushing up on that so this is going to be difficult so you can have your hands towards the ground or they can be up on your left thigh or if you're feeling really strong today they can be up towards the ceiling so on your next inhale, pushing up and bringing your knee off the ground. 
You may feel discomfort along the front of your right foot, but there should be no pain. Discomfort is fine, pain is not. If you're having pain, just come into a low lunge. But for the rest of us, deepen your breath. Keeping your hands on the ground if that's comfortable, or maybe bringing your hands up onto your thigh. One more breath. And release, lowering the knee down. Coming into a downward dog. And we'll be switching sides. Right foot steps to forward into warrior one or a high lunge. Bringing our body up. Straight line of energy from the crown of our head to our sacrum. Bringing our hands towards the ceiling and wrapping our shoulder blades. Strong bend in that front leg. Your hips should be facing the short edge of your mat. I'm taking one more breath here. Lowering the hands and the knee towards the ground. We'll be meeting in arrow lunge. So setting up, making sure that our front of the left foot is flat on the ground and we're not rolling inwards or outwards, flat on the ground. And inhale, lifting that left knee off the ground. Feeling a big stretch along the front of our left foot. Maybe keeping our hands to the ground, bringing them up towards the right thigh or having them up towards the ceiling. Now breathe here, don't bail. Taking two more breaths. Trying not to hate me. <laughs> and release, bringing the knee towards the ground. And let's meet in downward dog. Taking a moment to walk out your dog. Coming into warrior two with the left foot forward. Back leg should be parallel with the short edge of your mat and hips facing the long edge of your mat. Strong bend in that front leg, arms straight out to the sides. I'm getting comfy here. We're going to be coming into side angle, leaning the body over to the front of your mat and then resting your left elbow on your left thigh. Bringing the right hand in behind the back, either grabbing for the left hip or reaching for your clothing. Allowing your chest to open towards the back of your mat. And allowing your head and your neck to be heavy towards the left shoulder. Staying open in your core. Taking one more breath. I'm coming into head to ankle prep. So releasing the hands, keeping the bend in the front knee. Bring the right palm to the ground as close to the back leg as you can get it. And then use the left palm of the hand to push in to the left thigh, opening up the hip, having the hand as close to the hip crease as possible, and sending your breath there. Concentrating on your breath and not what your front leg may feel like. All right, release. Coming into lounge lizard. Coming to face the front of your mat, lowering the back foot. Right palm flat on the mat, about six inches in front of the plumb line of the right shoulder and wrapping your left arm around your left shin. Taking a deep breath in to lengthen your spine and exhale to dip your right ribs towards the mat, gliding your ribs towards your palm. And it's okay to rest your head on your knee here. Taking one more breath and release. We'll be switching sides. Let's meet in downward dog.
And from here, we're coming again into warrior two. Stepping the right foot forward. Strong bend in that front leg. Hips again facing the long edge of your mat. Back foot should be parallel with the short edge of your mat. Both hands towards the sides. And then we're coming into extended warrior variation. So coming to the front of your mat and placing the right elbow on the right thigh. Left arm, placing it in behind the back, either holding onto clothing or bringing it in towards the right hip. Allowing the head and the neck to be heavy. Not letting your core collapse. Maybe pushing your elbow into your thigh to create more space. One more breath here. And while you're keeping the bend in the front knee, we're coming into head to ankle prep. Left palm flat on the ground beside or as close to the back foot as you can. And use the right palm to push the right thigh away as close to your hip crease as you can get it, creating more space in your groin. And we'll slowly walk our hands to the front of the mat as we prepare for a lounge lizard, lowering the back leg, bringing the right palm about six inches in front of the plumb line of the left shoulder, and wrapping the right hand around the right shin. Inhaling to lengthen through your spine and exhale to sink your left rib cage towards that front hand. Relaxing your head into your right knee. And on each inhale, lengthening out through your spine and on those exhales, maybe bringing your left hip and your left rib cage a little closer to the mat. And we'll take one more breath here. And release, coming into our last downward dog of the class. Walking it out. Resting our knees on the mat. Bringing our legs out in front of us and coming into Baddha Konasana. Placing both palms flat on the mat in front of you. Inhale to lengthen through your spine and exhale to sink into your forward fold. Allowing your head and your neck to just hang. We don't need our head and our neck to hold us up. And let's create a bit more space in our lower back. Activate your toes, inhaling to lengthen your spine and exhale to sink a little deeper. Maybe creating a bit more space in our chest by reaching out into our hands like we're pulling up from a cold breath. And then relax back down. On your next inhale, coming up. And then making our way onto our back for Shavasana. So let's let our body be heavy. Rolling our shoulder blades underneath, giving a quick tuck to our tailbone and bringing our legs as wide as the mat. Palms can either face the ceiling today or if you'd like to connect to your body and your spirit more, let's bring our right palm on our abdomen in our core space, and then our left hand over our heart, our heart chakra. And relax the muscles of your forehead. And fall into relaxation.
And let's start to bring movement back into our body. Maybe bending our knees. And if your hands aren't already there, bring them onto your core. And rolling on to one side and coming up to meet us in seated. Bringing our hands into prayer at our chest and bringing them up to our third eye, our forehead. And let's bow in gratitude for our practice. Namaste.